Good morning, everyone. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Today's news story is coming out of Seoul, where, you know, the government is trying to put some new limitations on retailers. Now, last year, the city of Seoul put some significant limitations on big box retailers such as Costco, Home Plus, E-Mart, uh, Lotte Mart, saying that these big box retailers could not open on specific Sundays. Now, the new ordinance come out and cover some 14 different service industries, including bakeries. Now, the new ordinance says that bakeries such as Paris Baguette and Tour Le Jour cannot open within 500 meters of existing mom and pop bakeries and that the franchises cannot expand their businesses more than 2% annually. Now, this is very interesting because here in Seoul, there are bakeries everywhere and more and more popping up all the time and i can understand the desire to protect some of the smaller mom and pop shops however it should also be noted that the franchise stores tout le jour perry baguette perry croissant etc are still operated in much the same way that the mom and pop stars are. The only difference is that the proprietor puts forward and a lot of money, in some cases nearly two million US dollars, to purchase the franchise rights, the naming rights, the ingredients, the recipes, etc., to open their store. But aside from that, it's still usually a one or two person operation in many cases. I have a friend here in Dongtan who has a coffee shop and she has a franchise coffee shop. However, it's just her and one other employee, which is pretty much the same as the small bakery just around the corner. It's one single family. So my question to you is this. Should the government be able to limit the big franchises? In all reality, people are going to speak with their pocketbook. In the United States, there are a lot of times when Walmart wanted to come into our area and the residents banded together to not allow Walmart to enter. In some communities where Walmart did enter, the mom and pop stores did close down, but that's because people wanted to shop at Walmart. They felt that they could get a better deal. In my personal experience, in my old school, there was a bakery, a mom and pop bakery, and then around the corner, there was a Perry Baguette. And if I wanted cakes, if I wanted cookies, if I wanted bread, I would go to the Perry Baguette. But if I just wanted a small morsel snack, some choco muffins or some donuts, I would always go to the mom and pop because their prices were cheaper and it was more convenient. So I'm really not sure that this law is going to help the mom and pop stores. And I also think that given that an individual location is still run by a single entity, a single person, a single family, they are putting up a lot of money for the naming rights and the parent company really doesn't have a lot to do or say with the day-to-day -day operation. So I really think that the government is overstepping their bounds and it's really not the way to move forward in a free market society. But I would love to hear your thoughts on it. Please leave a comment down below. You can also find the link to the article in the description box. Until next time, remember to be true to yourself and always be awesome.